Cupcakes, welcome to part seven of the Hard West Let's Play playthrough. It is time to get back to our laboratory and see what is going on. So let's get into the game, shall we? Mission complete. We're heading home. Simon Delir and the person set out to confront the plague of madness overtaking the land. Solomon fled in his steam carriage. He knew Trumercliff could arrive at the laboratory any time. The meteor was his obsession, the source of his genius as far as he was concerned. For Solomon, however, it was the only way to cure the madness. He would need to invent a special device to use the meteor. In case things turned ugly, Solomon created several dazzle bombs using the dust from the meteor drilling site. Solomon could feel waves of insanity emanating from the meteor, but somehow he felt much more intelligent than usual. Did madness enhance brilliance? Trumercliff had thought so, at least. Solomon locked the meteor in a cage of steel and glass. All right, well. Um, before we do anything else, I feel like if the game is giving us a meteor dust bomb, it probably wants us to carry them, so I'm going to do that. Uh, dose of opium does what? Debilitates movement, improves HP and luck. Trumercliff's notes. Golden Derringer. Pepper box, meteor dust bomb, debilitates enemy movement, aim, and sight. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I can see that. Damage three, range short. Two shots per turn. I don't know, guys. I think I'm I think I'm fine with what we have, maybe. We have new cards? We do. Look at this. We got all the hearts. Red Joker. No ability on its own, but Joker serve as wild cards for making better hands. Interesting. Hmm, so what if we were to, 9, 10, what if we were to do jack, queen, king, ace, wait, jack, queen, king, ace, 10? What does he get for that? Max 3 HP for a royal flush? Ooh. I'm very particular about this. This has to all be in order here. Um, Red Joker. We were to diamond... Ace. Ace. Queen of Clubs. That shriek was pretty cool. Um, hmm. Survive a fatal shot. If you kill your killer, you'll make it. Otherwise, you'll die. Oh, gosh. Interesting. So you have to, like, kind of watch out for that. We gotta give What's-His-Face back some cards, too. Uh, let's give you a nine and a joker and a thing and a thing and a thing. I don't know. Oh, he gets a pair for four movement. All right, sure, fine. Notice I'm not putting a whole lot of thought into this, you guys. <laughs> um, let's see. So we need to go to the laboratory and analyze the data. Let's do that. Solomon remained in Trumercliff's old laboratory. He had truly made it on his own now. If we research the meteor, that's going to start combat, and I think that's going to be the end of this. So let's... I'm still working on engineering. Petrification bolt affected a single enemy, reducing the enemy's health over time along with his movement. That sounds cool. Continue. More engineering. 
He did not expect to accomplish more in this field. Okay, we're gonna leave then. If we can't accomplish any more in this field, we have to be able to go to the giant clock now. There has to be a thing here. Take my parts. Ah, aha. The sun, <laughs> the world's clock. Solomon Delir and J.M. Hobby joined forces to create the extraordinary clock. The gargantuan construction towered above them, measuring entropy in the air while its indicator inevitably moved towards point zero, the time it predicted the world would end. As a token of his thanks, Hobby presented Solomon with a miniature version of his masterpiece. The device was functional and could be used in combat. Oh, pretty cool. Hey, by the way, if you guys don't know, you should really look up the Doomsday Clock because it is a real thing. It's pretty interesting. Doomsday Watch. Nice. Unlocked at Fate Traders. Really? Wait, where's the Fate Traders? Now what else am I missing? The circus. Do you think we should go back to the circus and, like, throw people into the fight? What's this? The mine? What's in the mine? I, like, super don't want to end this scenario without... ...doing everything. Solomon determined the mine was still rich in resources. It had been abandoned after the madman had damaged the support beams. Some gold veins remained exposed, though. It was possible to mine them, but only at the risk of collapsing the mine entirely. Solomon was confident his engineering expertise would help with extraction. Yeah, do it. Fix the elevator and the drill. Unfortunately, the mine collapsed after only a handful of transports. Well, okay. Erickson shaft. Let's do it. Let's do it again. More stuff. Oh, a damaged crane had once transported, transported the platform up and down shaft. It appeared the machine had failed while the miner Erickson was riding up with a pan full of golden nuggets. He would have been killed instantly. Well, we can't repair the crane. We don't have any more parts. What about this one? Solomon saw a glimmer of golden light at the bottom of the shaft. More parts. We need more parts. Hmm. Send one of the Pinkertons. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna sacrifice the Pinkertons. Uh has anything else happened at this derailed train? Solomon arrived at terrible catastrophe. He was covered in blood but otherwise appeared. A persons needed help. Wait, he introduced himself as James and Wong, so he asked whether Solomon or his companions needed any help. Oh, cause yeah, yeah, cause now the one dude has a cracked skull. Yeah, a person's needs help. Yeah, yeah, his injuries have been healed. Excellent. Cool, thank you, Mr. Weird Man on a Train. That's awesome. Okay. Let's go back to the training post, see what's up. And then we'll go figure out what's going on here. <laughs> Pro probably for the last time. Let's trade. Okay, so we have, we have some assorted parts. Eagle Elixir, grants superior aim for a short time. Increases maximum luck. I'm just gonna start selling things off because we have a bunch of stuff that we have never used. And it's not equipped on any person. So we're just gonna start selling stuff. Improves aim, healing elixir. I'm gonna keep on the healing. Immediate luck boost. Improves HP and luck. Uh, the doomsday watch, plus two damage. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Excellent. All right, uh, so 28 bucks. <laughs> How's that? How's that? What do you got for that? Let's, we'll take your cash for that. Confirm. Trade. Close. Let's go back to the... Let's go to the work the workshop? Can we get anything from the workshop? We could get... We can buy more assorted parts. I don't know how many of those we need. Let's take five. And... Uh, we can only trade cash for that, right? And then we'll go back to the mines. 
and see if we can't mine things now. Or asserted parts. The crane was soon restored to working order. Solomon retrieved the gold. He left the crane intact so it could be used once madness had been banished from the land. Excellent. 75. What do we got over here? Uh, three assorted parts. Solomon built a rudimentary ladder that has allowed him to safely retrieve the valuables from the bottom of the shaft. Unfortunately, it wasn't durable enough to last beyond this venture. More cash, though. I'm cool with that. Um, circus, giant clock, trading post. What if we go back to the giant clock? What does that do? Anything? Watchmaker needed parts and the help of a master engineer. No, we did that already. We're not doing that again. Um, okay. Let's go to the laboratory. Solomon remained in Trumercliff's old laboratory. He had truly made it his own now. Research the meteor. Solomon concentrated on how he could use the meteor to cure the madness. He was feeling blazingly intellectual. His relentless epiphanies kickstarted an unprecedented fit of successful research. Eureka! Solomon shouted as he put the final bolts on his sanity machine. Then he gathered the Pinkertons in the laboratory and explained what needed to be done in order to activate it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so let's see. Pinkertons. Bulletproof vest. 11 and 11, 60, 65, 65, okay. Uh, you have greatly improves movement. I don't care about that. We need you to have, uh, two. we need you to have a healing elixir and we need you to have a mandrake root. We need you immediate health boost. And we need you to have a, sure, a mandrake root. And you can have health boost and luck boost. Okay, and you can have a health boost and, yeah, it'd probably be good for you to improve your aim. Um, I'm feeling kind of bad about leaving these meteor dust bombs behind, but I think we can outgun them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can outgun them. Yeah, his delusions are terrible. Okay, proceed to combat. We fiddled around with the cards earlier. They returned with the meteor, pursued closely by Trumercliff's minions. Solomon had devised a machine that could cure the affliction, but the madmen were already banging on the door. Delir was putting the final touches on his masterpiece when the madmen closed in. If he could get power to the machine, it would invert the meteor's energy. It might cure them, it might kill them. Either way, it would stop them. All right, so this is super cool. Solomon must use the required number of levers. And where are these levers? Oh, they're all over the place. There's one. Uh, there's two. Uh, there's three. Oh my gosh. There's four. And uh, there's five. Okay. So we need... And there's, there's more than five. There's more than five levers. Okay. So... Where is Solomon? Solomon's right there. So we're gonna head uh, one. Oh, we can't even get in there unless we go this way first, because we have to go through here and then go through there to get to that one. But if we come through here, one, two, back this way, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can ignore that one. So let's head this way first. So Solomon. Solomon's going to come up to, wait, hang on, you dude, you're gonna go up here, 
where is up here? You're gonna go... You're gonna go right there. You're gonna come over here. That is not protection. <laughs> None of this is protection. You're gonna go over there. Solomon is going to come over here and use this thing. That's one lever. Solomon restored partial power, but not enough to start the device. Exactly. Okay, so... This guy's a ricochet, dude. You go... You gonna go here? You're gonna go there. And then... Oh, that's right, we only have three Pinkertons. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're gonna go over here, and you're gonna come over you're gonna go right there next to him, aren't you? Yeah, you're gonna go right there next to him. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that configuration. Here comes one. Oh, he's got seven... Ow, oh, god, he's shooting right at... Solomon! Solomon, no! Oh god, oh god, there's so many of them. Oh no, there's so many of them. Okay. Time to start shooting, boys. Oh, there's a mad woman out there, too. Holy crap! Three, six, seven. Three, six, seven. At least seven of them. Oh good god. Alright, okay. This is. They have raised an army. This is not cool. All right, you gotta how are, you gotta shoot somebody. Wait, hang on. Let's get let's get dude. Let's get dude Solomon to cover first, um, or not because other dudes are in the way. So let's take you and put you put you there. Put you here. Let's put you there, and shoot things. Now start shooting things. You could shoot all the things. 100%. Who have we got for 100%? 100% damage 5. 100% damage 5. That guy's got 5 health. That's the best return on investment I've seen in a while. Do it. Okay. Mad persons, man. You come up here. Can't shoot anybody from there, but that's not the point. 79, 71. That's Trumer Cliff. Oh, holy crap, with the seven health. Well, shoot him. Nice. Can you shoot anybody? Who can you shoot? Trumer Cliff? For possibility of five damage? Go for it. Wait, what if we 100% damage for? Shoot him. Yeah, take him out right there. The cliff froze and fell to the ground, dead. Sorry that sucked for you, but uh, there you go. You come over here, Solomon. All right. So here comes all the Trumer Cliff's lackeys, shooting at my dudes. We keep Solomon in a corner. Nobody puts baby in a corner, but we will put Solomon in a corner. Oh, she's going around. Excellent. Okay. That guy's being a hidey jerk. That guy is also... We're starting to run out of luck over here. We're gonna start taking shots. That's the only guy you can hit, really, is that chick. We can certainly... Can we ricochet to her? Can we ricochet to... No. This guy? No. Ah, crap. Well, that's not as much fun. I was getting really into the whole ricochet thing. Hang on, we'll come back to him. You can scope shot out of ammo, reload. Oh crap, never mind. 
69.41. Let's try that guy. Nice. Excellent. Uh, let's have you shoot somebody as well. 74%, 49%, 44 Let's go for the 74% here. Nice. Alright. Things are, things are okay. Uh, come over here. He's gonna get shot over there, but he needs to pull that lever. Oh, he's still gonna have one more move left, though. So, you can, if you were to come over here, no, that's not cover. Um, do that. Then you're in cover both ways. Okay, and you are going to... What if we came here? Could you shoot that guy in the door? Sure would be great if he could. Yeah. Only damage one, though. See, close is not good for the rifle, apparently. Let's see if we can- see, that's still four? But that's better than one- wait, hang on. Can we ricochet to him? Let's ricochet... to... that guy? Damage four. Or... Yeah, it's still gonna be four. Hang on. So if we can shoot this guy right there, that would be great. Let's do it. Nice! Oh my god, that was so cool. I'm really, like, now that I know how the ricochet shot works, I'm so happy with it. It's amazing. All right, we're doing really well. We've, we've totally got this under control. Everything is fine. Uh, hang on a second here. We gotta get... We gotta get you in here, cause Chicky Poo's coming in. We put him there. That's his two. Is she right there? Wait. If we have, if we've got a shot, let's take a shot. That guy doesn't. He doesn't have a real good shot though. Sixty-one percent. About our other persons. 55. Okay, so our best shot is this one, I believe, with a 61% for one damage. What about a cone shot? Eh, he's right on the edge of it. It's not gonna help. Uh, what about that? 54% for three damage. Let's see if we can't get rid of him. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Uh, your turn. 55% for two damage, or... 59% for two damage. Let's do that. Pating! Oh, he's got a lot of luck. Okay. So you, my friend, are coming over... Here? With that? He doesn't have ricochet. Um... But that's about the best we got, is to put him right there. So let's put him there, and see if he can shoot from there. 53% damage, two. Sure, let's try it. Oh, I should have shot him with the big rifle, is what I should have done. Okay, and then you're gonna come over here. Actually, you're gonna come into this corner here. And can you shoot somebody from there? No, you cannot. She's in there, though. I know she's in there. What if we put you in there? There she is. Now you can't shoot her. She's gonna shoot you first. <laughs> I do believe she means to shoot you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Somebody shoots you, you shoot them right back. Fifty-nine percent damage to go for it. Oh, pating. All right. Uh, can you hit him? 55% damage to All right. His luck is up again. Let's talk to Solomon here. 39%, really? That's it? 44%, but damage 1. Uh, what if we What if we flank her. She's like really hiding, is the thing. 
If we were to come back here... Now let's shoot her. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Okay, now we can get in there. And then you... You don't have anything to shoot anybody with. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reload your shotgun for now. Yeah, we gotta start reloading. Oh, you can still shoot him. Sure, try it. Yeah, because he built up a bunch of luck this turn. Ouch. There we go. Okay. Uh, Solomon. I keep calling him like Solomon, Simon, and Samuel. Go flip that lever. Twist some levers. All right. So now you guys are gonna start cleaning house here. You are going to, you're gonna be there just to kind of guard him. And you, I think we'll just stop right there. We'll, we'll flip the turn over. We'll get Solomon to flip this switch. We need one more after this. I don't know if that was everybody. If that was everybody, again, uh, then that was everybody, I suppose. Now come up here, Solomon. Okay. So you're gonna come over here. Wait, can we get in there through here? Yeah, sure we can. Okay, so you're gonna come here. See if there's anybody hiding in there, which there might be. You are going to come here. And you're gonna come up here. And we're gonna end turn, and then we're gonna move Solomon up so that he feels comfortable and safe between our Pinkertons. Right up there, yep. And then our Pinkertons are gonna move up sort of one at a time here. Actually, you're gonna go in first. You're gonna go right there. You're gonna shoot anybody that gets in the way. Next dude is gonna come up here? I think we might have killed everybody, you guys. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure about it. It's, it seems very, like, realistic to think that we probably killed everybody. Especially since we don't have any enemy turns happening. Um, come to the lever. Solomon restored full power. Nice. The machine came to life on its own. Suddenly, a blinding flash suffused the battlefield along with a thunderous blast. The power of the meteor, now inverted, invaded every mind in the area. All in the vicinity were cleansed of madness, but in its place, only blanks remained. Some awoke as from a bad dream, others stared emptily, several dropped dead. Oh. Over the next few weeks, Pinkertons appeared by the dozen to help rebuild the town. Oh. The crisis was over. Delir vowed to protect the machine until it was needed again. Scenario complete. Sanity engineered. That, my friends, is the end of the scenario and is a very good place for us to end this episode of our Hard West Let's Play. Thanks for taking a look, thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you again next time.